So the myth is that you flip two and three and one and four on the coil. Right now they're in the default configuration. You won't be able to see me switching them because they're down there. But let's give this a try, shall we? Oh, well, I guess you can kind of see it. There's that one. Where are we? Where did it go? There we go. Right there. Four. And number one. Number one's the hardest to get to. Take number four, socket it on here. Okay, those are all on. Let's, uh, Give this a rip. Phone's complaining about being hot, so it might be a little fuzzy. But we'll give this a try anyways. Okay, ignoring these high spikes here because the tech signal always gives us problems. Um, you can see 
103, 104, 104. Switching the plug wires as instructed by Hot Rod High or any forum post from 10 years ago has no appreciable effect on your horsepower, at least in this chassis. This is a 1990 Ford Ranger 2.3 there's an ICM that controls the spark plugs so it's not well it's kind of done by the ECU but not directly quit spreading this myth it's obnoxious obviously I mean the data is all messed up but it would still show here let me switch it to wheel speed if it made any significant difference, the data would be a lot higher. And actually, it looks like the torque curve is actually smoother. So that's interesting. Um, it was not like that before. Huh. Cool. Anyway, stop spreading this myth.